The following program has been rated GE by the Kenya Film Classification Board. It is therefore suitable for general family viewing. Hello viewer, welcome to Chungu Chajami. I'm your host Eunice Mugo. Today on the show we are talking about social media addiction. Do you know someone, a youth, a young adult who is addicted on social media? What is your take about it? Send in your question, your comments across all our social media networks. That's GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is 2 4 I'm not alone. I have guests with me who are going to help us to understand better on how to come out of addiction and how to deal with addiction. I will allow them to introduce themselves. Welcome guest, starting with you. Thank you. My name is Ayub Mwangi. I am a strategic communication professional, um, a journalist uh, by profession, mm -hmm. and also um, a lecturer at the university, uh, teaching communication and strategy and media and all these things related to technology. Yeah. Welcome on the show to the other guest. Uh, thank you so much. My name is uh, Robert Charago. I am a pastor by profession and also I'm a mindset education specialist. Thank you so much. Welcome on the show. A viewer, today as we talk about social media addiction, did you know that uh, an average person uses two and a half hours in a day on social media? And also did you know that social media platforms are mostly structured to be able to glue you more into your screen time. These are some of the things that are making us to be more glued and uh, have issues with uh, taking care of ourselves, uh, going on with our daily programs and uh, not able to be responsible because we are always glued on our, t on our screens. Send in your question, send in your comments as we continue with this conversation. So to start with, Social media addiction, maybe from you, Mr. Ayub. As a person who has been in the social media and uh, working with the technology for many years, what is it that is making our youth today and our society today to be so addicted and to be so glued? Because uh, during the research that was taken some time back, you'll find that uh, if uh, from the statistics that uh, we use two and a half hours in a day on social media. In this case, it might be Facebook, it might be TikTok, because you are creating contents. Uh, it is good because others are making money from it, but others are getting glued to eat. Because you're supposed to go make dinner, you end up eating at 12 midnight because you're on TikTok the whole time. What is it that is uh, making the youth not to see this and uh, continue just to be glued? Mm. I think for me it's not, it's not just an issue about, uh, about the youth. Mm -hmm. It involves everybody who has uh, an internet uh, connecting device, okay. whether, whether it's a phone or a, you know, a tablet or a computer you know, as long as the, uh, there is internet and you can be able to access it, mm -hmm. then it makes it easy for you to, to want to know mm -hmm. what is happening. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, as you seek to know what is happening, you realize mm -hmm. that uh, you spend more time mm -hmm. on, on, the, on the platform. Mm -hmm. And uh, it only becomes worse when now you are not able to do what you are supposed to do, mm -hmm. and uh, you, are, you are on the platform more. Mm -hmm. Now, this is how it works. We do not own the platform. And the people who create these platforms are doing it because they, they are in business. You know, they want to sell. They want to uh, make money out of it. Mm -hmm. And therefore, uh, for us as social media users, to them, we are not just users, but we are data that can be crunched together 
and be sold to uh, certain people or certain companies mm -hmm. so that they can make money out of it. Mm -hmm. So what do they do? They study our behavior. You know, what is it that I like watching? Mm -hmm. You know, what, what is the content that suits me as an individual? You know, even as you, 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 you walk on your device, the device is also studying you so that whatever is coming to you is what you like watching most. The algorithms, as they call them, study our, our, our consumption behavior. So what, is, what are the videos that I like watching? If you like watching gospel videos or, or gospel inspirational messages, after one of them ends, what comes next is, uh, is another gospel, gospel uh, message. Now, if you like watching other content, secular content, again, that is what will come, will come to you. And as, as now you continue watching and consuming more hours on the platform, and it gets into your mind in such a way that if you have not touched your phone, you feel like uh, there is something which you have not done. In fact, uh, as I was preparing for this interview, I found out that if you invite someone to come to, to your house, one of the things that they, 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 they cannot forget is the phone charger. <laughs> yeah, because, because if they, they forget the phone charger, the, the, the phone will go off and they will not be able to access the net. They would rather forget the undergarments, but not forget the, 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 the phone charger. And that is how uh, serious it is. Mm -hmm. Making it uh, uh, an issue mm -hmm. that I know as we go along we are going to talk about more. Yeah. 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 Mm. Um, maybe coming to you, Pastor Robert, uh, from what Mr. Ayub has just mentioned, uh, that uh, in this day and era, uh, generally now, we are having children as early as five years is owning a phone. Not only a phone, but a smartphone. They know how to use these gadgets. And uh, also, five and above, everyone is using these gadgets because also in school they're being taught how to use them. But now, what he has raised about the concern of, I cannot forget my charger. I'll forget everything, but I cannot forget my charger simply because uh, the phone is everything. You'd rather lose everything but not your phone. Even when you're doing, right now I've been uh, even going through other online platforms. When you're doing research, they ask, what would you rather do? Um, skip meal or skip phone? You'd rather skip meal but not forget your phone. So what is your take on the same when you're dealing with uh, uh, students, when you're dealing with young adults and uh, even uh, being a pastor in church, you'll find everyone is glued on, your, on their phones. You're talking to them, but they are so busy. If they want to ignore you, I'll just use my phone and my earphones and assume that you're not existing. How is it? Thank you so much. And, uh, actually, I'm happy to be on the show because uh, I'm one of the <laughs> patients with social media addiction. Uh, in terms of, uh, I realized recently, uh, as Mr. Yub has raised the issue, that uh, they study people's behavior. Mm -hmm. Depending on what you like to see, that's what they always put, uh, bring on. So I realized, uh, I've been watching, uh, especially the TikTok videos, uh, a lot, uh, many times. So the work that I'm supposed to do in the office, uh, I don't deliver. So I, I was surprised what's happening here. When you, when you realize it's too late. Uh, but what I can say is uh, uh, this heart, where does this heart actually arise? Uh, this heart that you, you love the phone more than anything else, uh, it arises from a point where we trust in ourselves so much. Uh, because when you see also from my own age, as I mentioned, the children in the schools, uh, when children, when you raise your kids, uh, you always, uh, what words do you tell your kids? Uh, you can do it, you are good. You are, uh, so through these good words that you mentioned to your kids, they develop this heart of trusting in themselves that they can be able to do it. But uh, 
as Blister uh, mentioned, that these people uh, they study our behavior. So, uh, as with this heart of trusting in myself, once I click in one video, I don't know that the one video I clicked uh, is a thousand videos that I'll use, I'll spend the whole night watching. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but when I clicked the one video, what mind did I have? I had the mind that I'll just watch one and I'll continue with my work. <laughs> but when I click on that one, uh, my whole night is consumed. Uh, so, uh, this hub that uh, I, I do and stop is, is the heart that makes people to fail. But when I have the heart that uh, I'm a failure already. When I click on one video, I've already failed my business, I've failed my office work. When I have that mind, I, I cannot have the mind to watch. So with the mind that uh, I'll, use it, that I'll use the term trusting in myself, that when I begin, I'll stop. Similarly to uh, like cocaine addi addicts or bang addicts, they think once I smoke one time, I'll, I'll just stop. So, but the one time they smoke is totally takes them over uh, the rest of their life. So, actually, we need to come to a point of our heart where we realize uh, I'm not the person who uh, is a good person. I'm the person who can fail in any time. Mm -hmm. uh, biblically speaking, as a pastor, um, in the book of First Samuel, there's a story of uh, the children of King David. One child is called Absalom. Absalom. Uh, was a very good looking child, a uh, very handsome boy, and he never had fault. Once you looked at him, he did not have any fault in, the, in his, his life. Uh, but uh, his brother, Amnon, was very evil brother. He committed adultery with their sister. Uh, so in the mind of Absalom, Absalom used to judge the brother. Ah, you brother, you're so much evil. He even came to a point where he had hatred, a lot of hatred. But uh, Absalom did not know that the image of the image of Amnon, the one who committed adultery with the sister, is himself. So he, he never saw any fault with himself. But later on, you can see in the life of Absalom himself, he commits adultery, not with the sister, but with the mother, with the the mothers, the wives of father and uh, also he's a murderer he kills his brother physically killing his brother so biblically speaking we need to see ourselves ah i'm the person who can be addicted anytime yeah i can see many people addicted to alcohol and i can hate them or i can uh, raise my kids in a way don't follow that way but uh, the best way is to to realize myself ah, who, who, who am i i'm the person who can be addicted anytime. I'm the person who can fail anytime. So when I realize my position, I can fail anytime, then from this point now, I can, as I work, my office work, I can be thinking about the goals of the office. Uh, another important issue is isolation. Isolation. Uh, many times I want to be alone, especially when you have the phone. I, I am not using the phone together with my wife, it's my phone. So, because I'm isolated, I'm not together with someone, then uh, this mind takes me over. But when I'm together with other people, I can be able to, to deliver what I'm supposed to do. The people can influence me in a positive way. Mm -hmm. uh, so, this is what our kids actually have lacked. Because our kids, they think life is successful always, life is easy always. But, um, I'm sorry, but even though our kids are the future generation, uh, but uh, you find their life is messed up, even they don't learn, they live in many things. Thank you so much for that. Um, maybe coming to you, Mr. Ayoba, speaking from what Mr. Robert has said about uh, one realizing that you can always be addicted um, with our children, uh, with the pattern, now that we have, or we're all agreeing that uh, these people are in, are in business and they are here to study us and uh, make us more glued to the screen. How now do we help these young people? Because I even noted uh, in some schools, international schools, now they're having an additive of for, to, to make us as parents to take our children to that school. They say phones are allowed in school. When I grew up, even I assume in your cases as well, 
phones were not allowed in school. But right now, it's a marketing strategy. Actually, when also in a working place, if you do not have a smartphone gadget that is updated to the latest version, you'll miss out in a lot of things. Maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong. On the media, as a media person, there's so many apps that one is required to do to deliver their duties at work that also with without having a good phone you cannot access them and uh, and uh, in most cases the young people say that they are working from their phones but at the moment you're working from your phone there's the notification bar showing you the message showing you the ads that if you sleep away from what you're doing, then that's how your mind gets carried away. In terms of discipline, how can I discipline myself to know that I'm using my phone to work, but I cannot allow myself to be carried away from the notifications and the ads, but to stay focused to what I'm doing? I think... Um Honestly speaking, if you are, you are working, then I don't think uh, you are, your employer or the business for which you are doing would encourage you to, to use the phone uh, for work and related issues. Meaning, therefore, that uh, for people who are occupied, it becomes very hard for them to be you know, to be, to be glued on the phone for hours on end. So the people who are likely to be uh, using their phones uh, more often are those who have no work to do. There is food in the fridge. You know, you want, you want food, there is food in the fridge. There is soda, there is sausage, there is um, bacon and whatever and bread. And on the other end, the place is full of Wi-Fi. You know, Wi-Fi is the new electricity. And therefore, uh, as a young man or a, a young woman, I have no, 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 no responsibility over anything. I, I have no, I, you know, I have nothing to worry about. And therefore, I have all the time to be on my phone. So those ones will, will do it that way. But again, there are also families that are, are, are not having conversations on the dinner table. I, I don't know whether, whether it's mine alone, but uh, on many families, we are not having conversations because instead of us sitting on the dining table and having a conversation about how we are going to improve our lives as a family, each one of us is on their platform. There is one who is on YouTube, there is another one who is on TikTok, there is another one who is on Twitter, another one is on Instagram, okay? There is an older person who is on Facebook. My, my students tell me that Facebook is, a, yeah. is, a, is, a, is an older generation's uh, app or platform. Mm -hmm. And they are not having a conversation. Mm -hmm. Parents are not talking to their children. Mm -hmm. Husbands are not talking to their wives. Mm -hmm. And each of them, is actually doing something, you know, sinister. Because no one knows what I'm doing on my phone. My wife uh, has no access. You know, we are seated on the same seat, yes. But once I turn my phone to face me, uh, she doesn't even get to know what I'm doing. I could be talking to, 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 to my girlfriend out there. She could be talking to her, 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 her boyfriend out there. And these are some of the things that, uh, that we are seeing arising from, you know, over, overuse of the, the, the internet. Let me talk, talk about overuse of the internet. Mm -hmm. As, we, as we, we, we use that, mm -hmm. in fact, scholars are saying that uh, we are becoming lesser communicators. You know, we are, we are not talking to ourselves. Even, even today, if you, you got into a bus, uh, going to the city of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. You don't even get to know the name of the person or, mm -hmm. the, or, or the problem that, 
of the, of the person who is sitting next to you. Because the moment you get into that bus, you, 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 you switch on your, your TikTok, I switch on my Facebook, and then we, we just travel. However, all is not lost. Because this is a technology of our generation. There are people who are using that technology for good solutions, okay? Uh, today, you don't need to go to line up at the bank to withdraw your money. You know, mm -hmm. we'll be seated here having a conversation and I will be doing a transaction and you will not get to know that I am in business. Yeah, I, I don't need to physically uh, take, um, uh, you know, a, a, a commodity that I have bought to a customer, wherever that customer is, I can engage a person who is uh, technologically endowed mm -hmm. to take that particular product. So there, 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 there are, of course, downsides, mm -hmm. but of course there are also uh, upsides, which, which, which more often um, might seem to be overridden by the, by, by the downsides, mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting. Now, um, having said all this, I'm thinking of uh, the memes that goes around, eh? because also mothers are also in the same. Generally, we can look and say the youth. Um, maybe uh, there's a one time I was also so much into phones, and my daughter could tell me, Mom, can you keep your phone away and play with me? Because right now with the current generation we are in, also influencing the senior generation, because right now we're introducing smartphones to everyone, to our kids, to our grandparents, to our parents, everyone is using a smartphone. Right now if my son disturbs me, or if my baby cries at as early as six months, Ania, what do you do? Put YouTube videos, songs, leave it to the baby. So that's how we are growing our children. And also we are having like the memes I mentioned. Um, I'm washing my child. That was a meme that I had seen online. I'm washing my child. That is uh, to the level of extent that uh, the addiction has taken us to. Now, having said that, there is the mental side of it. The mental side of it and the cyberbullying, I can say it goes in handy because uh, at early years, if now, I'm, now this is the time I'm getting introduced to the internet, I post something and you comment negatively, that is a start of cyberbullying because I do not conform to what you are conformed to. How do we help our children, because them, uh, this is the time they are growing. We had a case where some time back of a student who was being bullied online over a post they had done and other spreading false and too much information, so to speak. How do we help now? with the addiction and now the mental issues of now the cyberbullying and the mental wellness. Because if I'm bullied, then the mental issue starts, Mr. Ayub. Mm. For me, cyberbullying cyber bullying and um, internet addiction are two totally different things. Mm -hmm. But now that we are here and we are talking about it, uh, we, we can talk about it. Cyberbullying comes as a result of the anonymity of the, the, the use of the internet. Um, I do not know you, and therefore you have done a post, and I want to be part of the, the people commenting. For me, uh, because of the, of the, of the weekend social ties, mm -hmm. uh, where our friends, our friends used to be the people who we know in person, and whom we have interacted with. Mm -hmm. Now, the online friends mm -hmm. are just 
things, you know, they are just, uh, they, they, are, they are not real people. Mm -hmm. they, are, they, are, they are numbers. They are, they, are, they are friends who, during your birthday, will send you 5,000 5, cakes, but there, is, there will be none to eat, okay? So those friends, because they lack the emotional attachment with you, they wouldn't find it hard to abuse you or to troll you. Um, and that is now why we see the rise of trolling. Those faceless, anonymous people who you do not know, but have been connected to you maybe through other friends, and therefore they can be able to see something negative to you without feeling that they are hurting you. And that is how, how serious uh, trolling is, okay? Although again, um, scholars tell us that uh, because of the, now the rise of this generation, I don't know whether it's the generation Z, mm -hmm. yeah, this, this, this generation Z that is not very good even at speaking. Um, you know, they, they, they are not very good even at, at communicating amongst themselves mm -hmm. uh, because most of the time they use it with the, with the, with the, with the, with the technological gadgets. They are not even very good at creating relationships. And that is why when now they become young adults who have to fall in love and um, they like a girl whom they cannot fully express to how they feel and then an element of cheating comes in, they find it very hard. One, they can, they can uh, easily commit suicide or they can easily even kill the person who has let them down. And you find that uh, these, are, these are some of the issues that we are having to deal with. Uh, because as parents, again, we are very overprotective with our, with our children. I would rather my daughter, my, my teenage daughter, or my daughter who, who's uh, at the secondary school uh, going age, is on the phone and is at home, rather than sending her out there, to go and meet with her friends so that they can bond and create lasting relationships. So at that time now when she goes out there, you know, at college to start interacting with young men and the issues of uh, emotions uh, come up, she may not know how to address them. And that day when now she gets let down is when now she, she breaks down, you know, she, they, she has a mental breakdown, which could even lead to suicide. And our parents are, you know, we have a responsibility to, because we are not letting our children go out there and, uh, and interact with others. Uh, we are closing gates uh, to them, but we are not closing the Wi-Fi gate where they are seeing these things happening, you know. Mm -hmm. Where, you know, what, what, what the media does is that it tends to normalize, yeah, some of these things. So if these things seem normal mm -hmm. to the rest of the world, but in our home, this is not normal. Um, when she gets, goes out there, she becomes confused. When my son goes out there, and all uh, he has done is spend time at home with the Wi-Fi, interacting with videos, and now it has come to a situation where he has to fall in real love uh, and not fantasy, she gets confused. She gets heartbroken easily, you know, yeah? But we have the social media apps where now, right now, you just download an app. If I'm looking for love, I just find someone, a match, and we go. Yeah? Um, coming to you, Mr. Robert, um, as a pastor, uh, picking from what Mr. Ayub has said and uh, the question that I had asked about the mental wellness when it comes to this, because growing from this uh, it started with very small thing oh? i'm having a phone i'm having bundles i'm having wi-fi so uh, this video is going to take me three minutes three minutes turns to two hours two hours turns to now the addiction starts in sets in slowly and now this is where from this addiction that is because if i'm not addicted to my phone then i won't be cyber bullied and uh, if, even though I might have mental problems or mental health issues, but most necessarily it won't come from the phone if I'm not addicted to the phone. But now that you're talking about the addiction of uh, social media, 
the mental wellness bit of it the isolation of the two talked about also you're being isolated you're being alone your comfort is your gadgets could be your phone could be your tablet could be your computer you just name it as long as it's a smart gadget you get hooked to it now when these people come to you for counseling what do you tell them and uh, to rating maybe averagely what number could you say they listen and they can see change and progress moving forward and those that uh, do not adhere to it or maybe having an issue to cope up with the change how is it for them um thank you so much um Actually, the youth have three key problems in their lives. Uh, number one problem is uh, the ability to think. Uh, they're not capable of thinking a lot uh, because from the society which we've grown, as parents and uh, as teachers, we, we, we like a lot to remove our children from difficulties and challenges. That's why our children, uh, everything is prepared by the parent and by the teacher. So they don't uh, go through any difficulties and challenges in their life. Uh, number two, the, uh, the second problem that our youths have is ability to control their thoughts. Uh, that's why uh, from the first level of thought, uh, this, this video looks nice. Uh, so from that level of mind, they just follow. They just click on the video. They just uh, follow, whether, whether it seems productive or not productive, but they just follow their mind. So our youths have the problem of thinking. They just think on the first level of thought. The first thing I see is how I judge. Uh, also, as you mentioned about uh, the bullying, social media bullying. Yeah, because someone has posted like this, and um, I'm, I'm easily judging the post they made. So I'm, I easily, because I don't know the person, I easily attack this person. Uh, and for the person who has been attacked, they easily judge quickly that they are hated and uh, they, they, they feel so bad. Number three problem that our youths have is uh, interpersonal relationships. Uh, not only our youth, but this is general uh, to also elderly people. Uh, I'd rather, as I mentioned, in, uh, as uh, our, um, our, our guest also mentioned, also Mr. Ayub mentioned, that uh, in our families currently, we we, 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 we don't socialize, even though we take dinner, but we don't take dinner together. Maybe someone is in the bedroom like this. This is our current society. Uh, so we, we, we are not, uh, life, life, li, li, in life you also need to achieve the dreams that you have. Uh, you, you, you don't live, just live in dreaming, you just mm -hmm. need also to achieve. Mm -hmm. uh, so how do you achieve these dreams? You need to, two are better than one, so you need to interact together. Uh, so. Uh, from a mental perspective, how do I help such people is, uh, as I mentioned also biblically, uh, from the story of Absalom in the Bible. Uh, this person has a problem. He's judging the brother because the brother already committed uh, adultery, uh, but he's keeping in the heat in the heart. He, he doesn't share with, with the father. If he comes to the father and says, ah, my father, I'm so much angry, I like also to kill my brother because he has this heart inside of him, but he doesn't know. But later on, this heart comes out. So he is able to, to carry out the interpersonal relationship, in a, a having relationship with the father. But he keeps quiet, and later on, he commits similar act and even maybe more as act, murder. Uh, so uh, from the people I advise is uh, we need to first to know ourselves. Uh, myself, I'm the person who cannot judge other I, I should not judge other people because I'm not different from them. Actually, Romans chapter 2 verse 1, it, it is asking, you who tell people do not steal, do not commit adultery, you yourself, you don't do these things because uh, the Bible is my mirror. Inside of it, me, I'm a very evil person, but I don't know. That's why... Uh, how do we change? How do people change then? When I know myself, I can realize 
now the new mind inside because from ecclesiastes chapter 13 verse 2 man is is uh, crazy <laughs> this is what the bible calls us inside our heart we are just filled with crazy things but we don't know we try to live the straight way but we still fall down allow me to cut you short yes, yes. um agreeing to all this uh, now i want us to take a break and when we come back um coming out of this because uh, we look at it uh, when we're talking about all this we've mentioned about the cyberbullying the mental health we're having the suicidal cases a lot of things are involved in all this but i'd want to know what is the way forward moving on salvaging where we are and now the future generation because when we look at it, even people say, we don't know what the future generation will be like. The generation Z, as we call them. What is their future looking like? Viewer, I hope you're learning as much as I am. Send in your question, your comments across all our social media networks. That's GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is 2 double 4 We'll be back shortly.